hello and welcome in this video we will be adding slug to this blog project okay so what we are having currently is this list view so what we are having is all the posts are shown here okay and when i click here then this is kind of detail view of this particular instance and we are navigating with the help of this id the unique id of the instance of this blog instance okay so this is id1 this is id this was id2 and so on so uh, the so this is how our post model looks like if we add a new post we have a title okay then we have blog type text and status for now now you can see here in models.py currently we are having this model and we want to add slug field in it and so just add the slug in your model the next thing you have to do is for every time this post got created we want to navigate with the help of this slug instead of this id that we are doing here like post1 and post2 so what we are having here is in the views.py this is a detail function as you can see here okay and this in the in this detail function we are having uh, detail uh, and we are navigating by the help of get object or 404 and id equal to post id and we are getting this id directly from the urls this int post id so instead of getting this int post id it's going to detail and then we are accessing this post id here so we want to navigate with the help of slug okay so let's do it now for this uh, we have to create a slug and now the question is what is a slug for example let's say you have this this title the django query okay the uh, one idea will be if you navigate because our URL is 127 and this localhost 127 and 8000 so you can go like this okay so but this doesn't look that good that's why uh, we introduce the concept of slug here in our blog that can look fine so instead of going by this we can go like this Django query okay let's say we have Django query so it will not look like this but a percentage to zero will come in between so the problem with this is a percentage to zero will come in between okay and let's say now the another thing that we can do is instead of space we can convert it into this so any title okay any title if we convert let's say this is my title this is my title if we convert this into lowercase let's say this is our title and if we convert this into lowercase with hyphen for the spacage that is what we call slug so we have to write a function that every time catches the title when we save our this model every time catches the title when we save our model and fill the slug for this title okay so we do it by using signals so let's let me write a function here so def slug generator and we will access here the sender the instance that we are saving args and keyword args okay and in this we have to say if the slug is not there if not instance dot slug then we will do that instance dot slug let's say becomes some string for now that is this is slug okay so this slug becomes every time this function will run when the model got saved then the slug will be converted to this string if there is no slug already present in our model now we have to do something so that this function runs every time this model got saved for this we have to use signals now signals will do uh, just one thing that it will run this function signals will run this function every time the action of saving this model will be done so we have two signals here pre save and post save pre save runs just before saving and post save run just after the saving so we want just before the saving the instance got uh, the slug got added to our instance okay now what is instance this is class and the instance will be its object so we want to add the title uh, the slug attribute in our so we want to add the slug attribute for our instance of this class post okay import the signal from django dot db dot models dot signals import uh, pre save and now we want to use connect of pre save so pre save connect and in the connect pass the function that we have written just here so select generator and sender will be our model post 
that's it so what the pre-save is doing it is connected uh, this model it is connecting this model with our function every time this uh, the this class every time the instance of this class will be created this function will be executed by this pre-save okay now let's go to the admin panel what we are saying is if the slug is not present it should become equal to this we are here in this post and if i save it as you can see here the slug is coming up automatically before just saving okay so if i again do it so it is coming up okay you can check it in any case okay here if i save it the slug will uh, occur but we don't want the slug to be same every time to this string we want a unique slug and this should be on the basis of title we want to convert this title in lowercase and we want to convert this passage into uh, the hyphen okay as we have seen uh, in this case okay like this for that go to a gist that i have created so gist dot github dot com slash is for six and on here you will find this and just copy this particular code from uh, there are two functions one is uh, random signal generator and the other is unique slug generator we want these two functions just copy them and paste it in the main in the main django folder the project folder and make a new file there utils.py so my main folder is this where the settings.py and the urls.py file are lying make a new file there that is utils.py and add this code in that okay by copying from there now we will import this function unique slug generator from this utils.py in our models.py okay where the slug generator uh, signal is lying so for that just do from the name of the project blog.utils import unique slug generator okay and we will use it here so instead of every time saving with the same um, string we will use unique slug generator and pass the instance in it what instance will be do uh, why we are passing the instance is because we want to access the title and get uh, and we want to convert the title into slug and then save the title in our slug field of the model that's it okay as you can see here in the code what this utils is doing is the unique slug generator is doing it is checking if the slug is not uh, not present then it is slugifying the in title of the instance okay and by using the slugify from django utils tags and then it is checking if the slug is not already present okay then if it is present then it is adding some you know random strings at the back so i will show you how this is doing so now because instead of uh, because instead of string now we are having this unique slug generator we can check it if this is working fine or not so just uh, remove this and again save it okay so it is working fine as you can see here uh, we are uh, converting this introduction to uh, react into this uh, slug okay you can do it in our remaining post that uh, the django query and here you can see just remove it otherwise it will not work and here you go so everything is working fine our slug field is getting saved automatically now let's create a new post with the same title let's say we are having this title and we already have this title so in that in this case the slug generated will get same that is django query and we already have this uh, slug so this will create a problem that's why we have done here that in our utils.py that if the slug is already present if exist then we will add some random string after it okay so let's try to do it if it uh, if it adds or not if it adds or not and yeah you can see here a string has been added here so in the post you can see the slug that the uh, if the title was same in these two cases you can see here a string got added which is these four words because of this particular block of the code that's it now we are having unique slug for every you know case so now you can jump directly to the particular post but now the problem is we are having the slug but we are still moving from one but we are still navigating in our post by using the id okay as you can see here so we want to change this pattern as you can see here as i hover the linkage post 127 post 23 in the bottom as you can see here it is in the bottom it is post 2 and it is post hyphen uh, slash 1 
now we want to convert it into swag so for that go to this template of your old post so this is in my case is post.html as you can see here and the link is coming in the view button so this is the view button and the a link is a.id so i don't want id attribute i want slug attribute here so just change it to change it to slug because we are having slug here so in this uh, and now look at this the slug um, the id got changes into slug okay you can see here and also in this case now if i click here now it is giving us the 404 error because the url is not found because we have matched the post with int id but there is no id here this is a text so it is not matching so we have to convert this integer into some slug so for that go to urls again and instead of this int we will add slug and let's say the attribute is slug okay you can add you can use any attribute so uh, okay and but make sure that you read the same thing there so i can use slug text okay but this should be slug okay now if i go again the url will find but it is saying that unexpected argument is uh, in the detail why because in the views in the detail function we are accepting post id but we are passing in urls that is slug text so we have to change it into slug text okay now save it that one more thing that we have to do is now we can't filter it with the help of id equal to post id so we have to change this thing and we have to filter it by q equal to post dot objects my model name is post that why i am doing it filter and the slug equals to the text we are receiving from the url slug text then we have to check if it it is there or not so if q dot exist then we will do because the x because the slug is unique so there is only one thing there so we can access the q equal to q dot first by there and if the slug is not matching with anyone so then we will say that uh, return http response with the page not found error okay and you can close it in a heading h1 tag like this all right so now we will pass this queue with our post and we can access in it in the detail field which is, which is detail.html as i have done here with post.text post.title defined in this model title select block type text as you can see here title text and every other thing now come to this again refresh it and here you go now as you can see here we are having slug and we are navigating with the help of slug not with the help of id okay and if you pass some random uh, wrong slug like this so it will say page not found because the query will not exist and this code will run okay and if it is okay then it will render but if you pass some other that is not in our database so it will say page not found so i think that's quite good thank you so much